Welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil Revelations 2. I'm Burning Dog Face, and last time, Claire Redfield got kidnapped from an office party at TerraSave, along with young Moira Burton, daughter of uh, Barry Burton from Resident Evil 1. Now we're here, in this place infested with bloody monsters with crap stuck in their bodies. Moira's pretty good at keeping right, the camera open. We made it. Keys over there. Ugh, this place reeks. If I had to guess, I'd say that's one of those icons you could shoot in RE5. But you can't shoot from a ladder. Shit! What's that sound? Let's get the key and get the fuck out of here. Zombie? The key's gone. I did hear it jingle on the way down. Oh, he did have Do a gun. You, uh, are you gonna use that? It's more reliable than any person. If you say so. The fuck, Claire. I did think that the key his. He must have shook loose when the body fell. It could be anywhere. Oh, there it it's is. Too dark to see. Shine the light around. <laughs> oh yes, this is important. Uh. So yes, you can switch between Claire and Moira in this game. I was aware of that. Uh, there is actually co-op in this game, but it's local only. Uh, here's the thing. I'll just make this quick. Uh, I did mention forever ago that I'd been on something on the way down? that I'd been looking to uh, play this with a friend of mine and you know, do co-op mode, but um. As I researched this, I determined that, uh... Well, Player 2 controls Moira, and Moira is definitely more of a sidekick than a partner. She doesn't even get a gun, is the issue. Claire! I see the key! It's out of reach. Let me try shooting it down. I believe they uh, used to call that girlfriend mode, the co-op mode where someone is really just there to support player one. I don't know if it has a uh, uh, better name these days. Is it X? It is X to reload. Thanks, dead dude. Experiment block key. Hmm. There's just like ten guys over there. Sup? Oh, those ones just fucking fell. Oh no, there's not ha any hanging here. They just dragged these in here. Oh! That actually startled the shit out of me. No, 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 no. Do not. Get your own goddamn sandwich. Can I stomp him to death? No, he's just dead. Oh, hell no. Yeah, okay, just run. Oh no, it is a dead end. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Alright, new plan. Oh, okay, they can jump. I don't like that. One bullet left! That's not going to work, not going to win that fight! Fuck! Moira! Oh, I'm doing badly. Kinda of thought they were all gonna come bursting out of this door. Is there a plant in here I missed while I was panicking and being murdered? Well, technically, I didn't actually lose, so I wasn't murdered, but, you know, I was attempted murdered. 
this something? No, it's not actually a gap, it's just a darker colored bit in the middle. Okay, getting the fuck out of here. I need to backtrack in order to hit that thing, I think. When is this going to end? There was another option in the, uh... Where was it? Was it under controls? Somewhere there was an option for what kind of uh, reticle to use. Excuse me a moment. Yeah. Go try that. Yeah, that might be better. Oh, let me guess. It's a suddenly filled with assholes. No! Maybe not. Oh, it's got like a stomach or something hanging from his belt. Great. Alright, I am going to change that back because that sucked. I uh, didn't realize it was a Dead Space 1 style reticle where it would, you know, change. Shit. Okay, then I back out of here and it takes a while to save my options. And I can't move until it does. Okay! Cool. I just figured if it worked for Leon, maybe it'll work here. Or maybe I gave us more patience with Leon and the laser. I don't know. Now you're telling me. Surely you can use some of this shit. Oh. Uh, hi there. I don't think Moira actually has health. I seem to remember reading in my you know, research on uh, co-op mode. There you go. We have all the time in the world. Yeah, that is a whole lot of metal shit stuck in this dude's body. Nice sweater, though. Well, before it was soaked in blood. I can't climb in there for some reason. But yeah, I discovered that, uh, I believe, if I remember correctly, Moira can be knocked down and then picked up by uh, Claire, but she can't actually die. heard the term asymmetrical co-op, but that's not precisely the thing I was thinking of. And that could just be a, a game where the two characters don't have identical abilities. No, I can't stomp that, man. <laughs> Fucking zombies! Just when I thought I was done, they bring back the torture zombies. I am no one's boxed lunch! Asshole. You're goddamn right there's a green herb. I wonder if that's like an emotional reflection there that, uh... I mean the bit about, uh, the thing being orange instead of green, even though I just healed. It's weird, I 
I wanted to do the ta double tap A and kick the door open thing. Come on, nice and careful. All the time in the world for this. Nobody trying to eat my face at the moment. Tower emblem. Cool. Stay close. Almost in peace, Gina. Oh, I don't like that they're just giving me a shotgun immediately. That's a mm. Shotgun M1 47 S. This is a handgun MPM, miles per miles. I keep thinking these are cabinets, because I think that bit in the middle is a gap. Or you could leave the flashlight on. I just realized I was stuck in that guy's dead body. Oh! Nice. You need a gun too, Moira. No, I really, really don't. Sorry. I don't do firearms. Not after what happened. I have Shit. no idea what that's I'm about. Sorry. I forgot. Uh, maybe we can find you something else. Oh. No, I'll just be on flashlight duty or something. It's fine. It's not fine if you're playing as someone else. Can I pick that up for her? I think there's something shiny there, but I can't make it out. Let me hit it with the flashlight. Did Claire just pick something up? Because if the characters are going to be doing that, I'm going to be annoyed. They're picking shit up without telling me about it. I didn't even see what it was. Okay. Nice. Blunt weapon. I can do blunt weapons. Press right trigger to use Moira's crowbar as her melee attack. She can stun certain enemies by hitting them from behind. She can also deliver a follow-up to downed enemies with right trigger, which seems to be something that uh, Claire can't do, interestingly. That was not the correct... Oh. That was the correct button. That was just not... Uh, the right time to do it. Oh, I see. I do not see. Oh, fine. Be specific about it, why don't you? I can't tell if she's wearing really, really tight pants, or if that's pantyhose under short shorts. Which is an interesting combination. Oh. That was a child. Claire? You saw that, right? <gasps> Yeah, I saw... something. A little girl in a nightgown? Yeah, that's weird. Oh, I don't trust you at all. Oh, I thought I saw a glint there. Yeah, that was another thing. Um... In Revelations 1, they gave you this, like, scope thing, that let you, like a camera that you could look through and find hidden items in the environment. Apparently that's now Moira's job. Coming handy already. You gotta look out for the sparkles. How are we doing? Shit, not well. Um... Oh! Cool! Okay, that is a thing you can do. Noted.
realized I forgot in the first episode to mention that, yes, the conversion mod doesn't seem to fix what I assume is the screens of legal text and the warning about, you know, the epilepsy warning they put at the beginning of every video game these days, except in Japanese. It can't fix that, but I am told it, at the very least, changes the logo wherever it appears. Uh, one thing I had a thought of, of why this could be connected to Revelations... Cool. No one's trying to eat me this second. Uh, one thought I had was that maybe it's for Resident Evil games that are experimental, because uh, Revelations 1 started its existence as a game for the Nintendo 3DS handheld platform. Like the first proper Resident Evil game on a handheld, as opposed to just like a weird you know, RPG spin-off or something. And uh, Revelations 2 was originally released episodically. I got it written down here from between February 24th and March 17th, 2015. Okay, fine, I'll go in here. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'll just give them both barrels. Fuck yeah. Moira, get your magic flashlight out here. That was not the correct button, that was the correct button. To agitate them. See? It's working. What have they done to you, poor sons of bitches? What do they turn you into? What in the fuck? Oh! Oh! Oh, I don't like you at all. You know what? They haven't given me that... Claire. Claire, for the love of God. Put that shit away. Yeah, t t yeah, tip. Do not point a gun at anything you do not want to shoot. Who the fuck is quoting poetry? That's a quote. Afraid. You can tell me. Talk to me. What are you talking about? Those bracelets change color in response to fear. And who exactly are you? So much suffering. You don't even know what to be afraid of yet. Is she talking to us or at us? Yes. Oh, there's a few of these big guys in here. Oh my god, they really fucked you up. Oh, hey. Or is that like a thing I point that at? No. Called it, though. Definitely got a someone is messing with us vibe from all this. Okay, sorry, I thought that whatever that is was moving for a second. That's not like a mini boss, is it? Actually, let's have the person with the gun go first. Let's not. Oh, this isn't, like, stuff hanging from the ceiling. This is just dangling from a broken part of the ceiling. Okay. Interesting. That does tell me that those doors are going to open eventually. God. This looks like a way out. Useful. Look. More fucking technology. 
No, this is not technology, Moira. This is something uh, we've encountered many times before. It's called weird puzzle bullshit. Let's get this and then call it an episode. Improving security measures. As per the director's instructions, I put the fire-breathing bust in front of the exit. The flames this thing spits out are no joke. Even if several of the experiments try to pass through at once, they are all getting fried, no question. Thou shalt not pass. So much for anyone trying to escape. I don't like that at all. This isn't just a psychopath. This is a psychopath with staff. I don't actually see a bust. Maybe this isn't the entrance. Or the exit, rather. Oh, hey! I'm getting tons of Batman points out of this. Oh. In any event... I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Resident Evil Revelations 2. When we, uh, continue making our way through the, de through the detention center, probably put a few more of those weird guys in the ground, and, uh, you'll keep being awesome. Later!